Hare Krishna everyone, so welcome back to Shravanam Diaries podcast. I'm your host Sulalita Devidasi and we are continuing with this beautiful book called Civilization and Transcendence by His Divine Grace, Srila AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. And let's dive in! Chapter 10 The Process of Purification Pushta Krishna Srila Prabhupada, the next question somewhat echoes the previous one. Quote, there are various samskaras or purificatory ceremonies prescribed for every civilized person from birth to death. Many of these samskaras are not being observed today. Should they be revived? Unquote. Srila Prabhupada, The real aim of samskaras is to bring a rascal to the platform of knowledge. Janmana Jayate Shudra By birth, everyone is the same, a Shudra. In other words, one is without any knowledge. So the purpose of samskaras is to gradually bring a person who has no knowledge of spiritual life to the spiritual platform. As it is said, Samskara Bhavid Dvijaha By the purificatory processes, one attains spiritual rebirth. That is essential. Human life is the opportunity for an understanding what one is and what the aim of one's life is. The aim of life is to go back home, back to Godhead. After all, we are part and parcel of God. Somehow or other, we are now in this material existence. So the aim, the real aim of life, is to return to the spiritual world, where there is no struggle for existence. Blissful, happy life. We want unending blissful life, but it is not possible in the material world. That happiness is in the spiritual world. So our aim should be to go there. And every human being should be given the chance. That is real education. That is called samskara, the process of purification. Now, altogether there are dasha vidha samskara, 10 kinds of purificatory processes. So, in this age, it is very difficult to follow them. But, if one chants the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra without any offense, under the guidance of a spiritual master, all these samskaras automatically become fulfilled and one returns to his original spiritual position. Aham Brahmasmi, I am a spirit soul. So we are Brahman, spirit, and Krishna is Param Brahman, the Supreme Spirit. As Arjuna said, Param Brahma, Param Dhamma, Pavitram, Paramam Bhavan. You are the Supreme Spirit, the ultimate abode, the purest, the absolute truth. Unquote. Krishna is Brahman, or spirit. And I am also Brahman, but he is the Supreme Brahman, and I am minute Brahman. So my business is to serve Krishna. That is the teaching of Lord Chaitanya. Jivera Svarupahaya Krishnera Nityadasa. The real identity of the living being is that he is the eternal servant of Krishna. So if one engages himself in his original spiritual business, acting as the servant of Krishna, then all processes of purification and reformation are fulfilled. And that advantage of re-engagement in our original spiritual business is given freely in this age. 
Kirtanad eva krishnasya mukta sangha param vrajet. Quote simply, by chanting the Lord's holy name, one achieves spiritual liberation. The reformatory processes, or samskaras, are meant for purifying a person so that he becomes mukta sangha, liberated from all the bad association of material existence and eligible to go back home, back to Godhead. So this is the special advantage of chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. The question was, should purificatory processes be revived? They should be revived as far as necessary, but all of them cannot be revived in this age. So people should take to the chanting of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. Then all reformation will be there and people will come to the spiritual platform, Brahma Bhuta, the realization of Brahman. Then Prasannatma, they'll be happy. Nashochati Nakankshati, there will be no lamentation or needless hankering. Samah Sarveshu Bhuteshu. They will see everyone on the spiritual platform. And Mad Bhaktim Labhade Param. In this way, they will come to the platform of devotional service and then their life becomes successful. Is that question answered or not? Pushta Krishna. Yes, just one question I have, Srila Prabhupada. You said that the samskaras should be revived as far as necessary. Srila Prabhupada. The essentials, for instance, to make one a brahmana, these four things are essential. No illicit sex, no meat eating, no intoxication, no gambling. These essentials must be there. You cannot dispense with them. So you must at least avoid sinful activities. Then one can practice Krishna consciousness. As Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita 7.28 Yesham tvantagatam papam jananam punya karmanam te dvandva moha nirmukta bhajante mam dridhavrata Quote, persons who have acted piously in previous lives and in this life and whose sinful actions are completely eradicated are freed from the delusion, the dualities of delusion, and they engage themselves in my service with determination." Unquote. You cannot become a devotee unless you give up sinful activity. Therefore, you have to begin by following these four prohibitions. You have to avoid sinful activities like illicit sex meat-eating, gambling and intoxication, including tobacco, coffee and tea. Then you'll gradually become completely sinless. On one side you have to follow restrictions and on the other side you have to engage yourself in devotional service. To engage oneself in devotional service under the order of the spiritual master and the Shastra in the way is the way, is the way to remain on the transcendental platform. Jai. The transcendental platform means there is no sinful activity. It is above any question of sinful. Pious and sinful activities are there only as long as you are on the material platform. Good and bad, pious and sinful, these are all considerations on the material platform. But when you are on the transcendental platform, you are automatically without sin. Krishna confirms this in Bhagavad Gita 14.26. 
мамча йовя бичарейна, бхакти йогейна сейвате, сагунан самати тяйтан, брама буяя калпате. The life of vice and the life of piety are within this material world. But when one is spiritually engaged, he is above the material plane, on the spiritual plane. So the whole thing is that if you chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra and give up these sinful activities, automatically you will become reformed. You come to the spiritual platform and in this way your life will become successful. Jai. So we're going to stop here for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. The link to this book is in the description and we shall see you tomorrow with the next chapter. Hare Krishna.